Hi, my name is Willie. I'm from the Chicago chapter of the Crips. I just want to thank you all for taking the time to come to this meeting. Now, I just want to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I spent seven of the last 12 years in prison for robbery, assault, grand larceny, aggravated assault, sexual battery, and public urination. The state probably would have executed me by now <clears throat> if I had been charged for even one of the murders that I committed. But the great thing about the United States is that only 50% of homicides are ever solved. That means you have a 50-50 chance at getting away with murder. Those are pretty good odds. But the Chicago chapter of the Crips has discovered something that makes your odds even better. We discovered that the state of Illinois has a stand your ground law that's been on the books since 1961. Now this law states that I can kill any motherfucker who pulls a gun on me first. My homie, he pumped 57 bullets into the car of a rival gang member. He's chilling at home with his kids right now because the rival gang member had an AK-47 in his trunk that he fired at my homie first. He just waited calmly for the cops to arrive and told them that he stood his ground. Now, they hauled him off to jail, of course, charged him with first degree murder, but we hired a great lawyer and invoked the stand your ground law and my homie got off scot-free. I can't believe this law's been on the books all this time and we didn't even know about it. We have gathered you all here today because only 11 states in this country have stand your ground laws on the books. The other states have duty to retreat laws, which means that if you believe your life is in danger, you have to run. Now we ain't interested in that shit, man. We are starting a national campaign. We want stand your ground laws to be passed in places where we do business. Right now, there are stand your ground laws uh, in, in places like Utah, Montana, and Washington State. You know, there ain't no niggas in those places. We need laws to be passed in New York, California, Washington, D.C. If we can make this happen, then niggas won't have to go to jail no more for too long. The white man has been trying to prevent us from exercising our Second Amendment rights. That time has come to an end. We want to raise $50 million over the course of the next year. Are you with me? Who are you, America? That's the question Center Stage asked when we commissioned these 50 monologues. Want to learn more? Keep watching.